Okay, hello guys. So this is the G7 Pro, and in this video, I will show you how to upgrade your Android device into the One UI Core version 2.5 on Android 10. Okay. All the files and instruction I'll provide in my blog. The, the, the link is in the description box. Okay. So this custom ROM is based on Exynos 7870 and also can be applied on the Galaxy J7 Pro, J76, J7, J5 Pro, J7 Prime, J7 Core, J7 2016 and Galaxy A6 2008 all the device using the Exynos 7870 Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with OnWeb. This time we have an old phone, the Galaxy J7 Pro. So, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to update this one. It's using the One UI 2.5 based on Android 10 and it is ARM 64. <clears throat> okay. So before we continue, there is several <coughs> several things that you should know. Okay. First thing we want to check is the stock ROM. I will show you. Let's go to the settings and about one. <clears throat> okay, this is the Galaxy J7 Pro and the latest version or the last version is using Android 9 One UI version 1.1. Okay, so the custom ROM will be upgraded from from this version. Okay, and <clears throat> second one. Make sure you have enabled the developer option. Okay, developer option can be accessed from the software information. Hit the build number five times. After that, go back, back again. Go to the developer option and make sure you have turn on the I'm unlock in here. Okay, the I'm unlock. Then. Make sure you have remove all the emails, case okay, so because if you if you forget the emails, uh, you will get a FRP. Okay, let's turn it off. <coughs> and let's power it off. Okay. And for the next step, we need to go to the download download mode. Download mode can be accessed by pressing the three button at the same times okay the volume down, down power button and the power button okay let's try it okay now you have this warning just press volume up and it will go to the download mode Okay, that you need to plug your USB cable. And in this tutorial, we're going to use the Orange Fox Swan. And you can always flash the old version and then upgrade to the Orange Fox. Okay, let's try it. Let's copy the path right here and <clears throat> open Odin go to the option tab and check out the reboot hit the BL and paste the path okay so let's try to use the 3.3 version and hit start it will start replacing <clears throat> and it, when it finish we need to force reboot the pawn and boot into the recovery okay let's try it Force reboot can be accessed by pressing the volume down, home button, and the power button at the same time. Okay, 
<clears throat> and when the pawn rebooted, quickly switch from the volume down to the volume up while stay press the home button and the power button. Okay, let's try it. Okay, now we are in the custom recovery. So the first thing we need, we need to do is format the data, goes to the wipe menu right here, select format data and FPS. Okay. Okay, and then let's try to reboot to the custom recovery again, goes to the reboot and recovery. Okay. After that, let's plug the USB cable because we want to replace the custom recovery. <clears throat> okay, let's do the screen again. And we are going to use the orange box. Okay, this one. And we will copy the file into the internal storage. Okay, let's copy the orange fox and open another explorer and let's put it in the internal storage right here. <clears throat> okay. And then let's copy the custom ROM. Okay, we're going to use this one. It is the radial quack. Okay. Let's copy and paste it. And for your information. This custom ROM can be used also for the other device that use the Exynos 7870. Okay, this is the list. It is support the J7 Pro, J6, J5 Pro, and uh, this is the code name, right? J7 Prime, J7 Core. J7 2016 and A6 2008. Okay, it will take a time to copy the file, and the size is about 2.2 gigabytes. Okay, and we also need this one, the Universal 7870 Repetitioner. Okay, <clears throat> maybe some of you guys will ask why uh, we need this this repetitioner because we need to change the partition of the pawn okay so it will support the vendor inside the system image okay repetition means change the partition because if not it will it cannot flash this custom rom okay Okay, now it's already finished copying the file. Let's switch the screen. Okay, let's swipe it. And okay, let's change the brightness so you can get a better view. Okay, now it goes to the backup. It's always a good idea to backup the file. Okay. So select backup option, enable compression for smaller size, and then let's select the the modem and EFS. Okay, this is just for precaution. If there is something wrong with the modem and EMA, we can always restore it. Okay, and don't forget to copy to a safe place. And now for the next step, goes to the home again goes to the install and select the orange box okay and swipe it and it will replace the <coughs> custom recovery using the latest one okay this is uh, why we need this orange box custom recovery because uh, it support the custom ROM okay and it will automatically reboot again to the custom recovery okay now we are in the orange box custom recovery 
Okay, let's swipe it. And let's change the brightness first. Where is it? Display. Brightness. Okay. Okay, now for the next step. <clears throat> we need to flash the grid vendor. So it goes to the goes to here and select this one, the universal 7870 repartitioner. Okay. Swipe it. <clears throat> okay. Takes time. And when it's finished, it will automatically reboot again to the custom recovery. And now for the next step is we need to wipe the system cache and vendor. Okay. So goes to the try second right here, and goes to the wipe tab and select the Delphi data system vendor okay the syst uh the system the gas and vendor okay let's swipe it done now it goes to the home select where you have the files okay i put it in the micro sd so select here select micro sd and find the folder okay this is our file, the radical quack. Select the file and swipe it. And it will start the aroma installer. Okay, so we'll wait. So one of the reasons why we need this custom recovery because it supports the aroma installer. Okay, aroma installer is like this. There is an option and other stuff. Okay. Hit next, <clears throat> select agree, X again, this is the change log, hit next, and there is an option I want to wipe data, or no I want to keep all my setup. So the first option is for the first time you install this custom ROM, and the second one is for you guys that already installed the previous one. Okay, but it doesn't matter because we already formatted data. Okay, hit next. And there is an option interface mode, sound mode, and other stuff. Okay, and also put animation and virtual memory. Okay, so it should go faster. Okay. Okay, let's try the dual speaker and hit next. There is a wallpaper options emoji and other stuff like font but we will not install the font because it's quite large okay next and the bloodware it has removed all the bloodware but you can activate if you want i don't want to use the something cloud as finder uh, samsung video Okay, I will keep the Google Chrome and Samsung file, Samsung Gallery. Okay, next. And the CSC feature, network split, other stuff, blah blah blah. We can we're going to use the LT LT data icon. Okay, next. Hit OK and next. Okay again, it will start flashing the custom ROM. Okay, and we're finished now. Hit the finish button and hit the finish button again. It will ask reboot system. Hit the yes. And after this, we need to wait for several minutes because it is the ODX file. It means it usually take more time. Okay. Okay. Now we are in the home screen. Okay, so let's go to the setting right here. Go to the about pond. Okay, and go to the info. So for information, you can see right here we're using the Android UI version 2.5. Uh, 
based on android 10 okay so i have checked all the function all the function run perfectly there is no problem and you can try it okay it is less blood well than the stock rom uh, but it should do faster when playing games and it, it's also run on 64 instruction 64 bit okay you can see right here okay so yeah, so guys this is a this is a tutorial on how to upgrade your j7 pro using android 10 one ui version 2.5 okay i hope please i hope this helps you and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have lots of video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially xiaomi samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum